Hello and welcome back to Maypole Farm. It is now late July and uh, we are going to get into some of our production today. We've got our, our brewery set up. We did that last time out. So today we're going to try and see if we can get it to work. Now we did some tanking. Um, I just want to check. I think, I think we still need to tank the... Uh, smaller fields if I remember rightly so let's just have a little look at where we are oh pH is bad so yes definitely I don't need to go in the map so we'll do we'll put the which we go with which we go with? John Deere our worker likes being in the John Deere our worker in the John Deere they can do a bit of tanking for me now if I do this correctly he should be able to oh Actually, we're going to go get some fuel first. Got a feeling this is going to be quite an expensive refuel. So we are pretty low. I didn't realise it was done that low. Although, no doubt, I've probably said for the last three episodes we need to get some more fuel. But here we are. And have our worker running out on us, can we? super expensive now I did notice there's a mod for out of cab refueling I was wondering whether to uh, incorporate that now thousand pounds for fuel yeah, I was wondering whether to incorporate that um, just for the realism especially for the um, do -do 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 role playing series right, let's get back to the farm get back to our stuff so anyway, as I was saying before, uh, why don't I set this up right, uh, the worker should be pulling the slurry out from the uh, dairy pasture and uh, shouldn't run out, it should go right until the end. So I'm going to jump out here, let them get on, oh it's a beautiful thing, love it when it works, absolutely awesome, right. <laughs> They say it works, we've got to, got to see if they get stuck on trees. So what we're going to do is find our trailer, which is there, I've, I've found it. And we'll put it on the Lamborghini. Then uh, I'll load up my pallets. Then we'll do the honey first since we're here. And we'll take the honey down to the brewery and we'll see if we can make some honey ale while that's doing its thing we'll head up to the greenhouses and we'll get a full trailer of um, strawberries oh bit of a tree in you may, uh, may have to lose that tree or trim out some of its branches I don't like it when they uh, <laughs> penetrate a solid vehicle I haven't took the time to uh, roll the uh, uh, press the clamp yet, so we do need to get on that as well. Although I do want to get another cut in there, so it's not that big of a deal. Right. I haven't really got anything to do it with, so I am going to be handballing these, I'm afraid. For those that don't like it, I do apologise. Feel free to do all your pallets properly in your own game. <laughs> I was initially going to save these right up until we had loads, but since we've had so much free time and built the brewery, may as well start production. There's only a few of them on. So, uh, yeah, our eggs are stocking up well, as you can see over there. Doing very nicely. physics of all is a little bit off. That's why when I have to do the uh, the crates on uh, Ubay, I tend to uh, do it off screen. Because the turning it and spinning it and everything is just sort of quite ugly. Especially when I've fully stacked trailer. Look at that, what's going on? 
Well, my pallets are on, sort of. This, this one's a little bit, bit janky. They'll be fine. Yeah, I don't know what happened to the trailer there. It was starting to go a little bit wayward. Um, so I decided I'd do the last few bits of it in private, in case it did flip everywhere and look nasty. But it didn't. It paved itself. It's one of those things where it's uh, only naughty whilst being recorded. He's doing a marvellous job over there. Now, with those sort of physics, I do need to be mindful now that this is going to roll everywhere. It might be in part because of the new centre gravity mod thing that I've got running, the new real mod. Well, it's not new, it's been out for a while, but it's new to my saves. Look at that top right hand corner. Great demand. Debris crusher. Uh... It's nuts. I might start screenshotting it every time and then uh, send a big file off to Giants asking if I can have something new. Demand. Oh, that's in the way. A lovely Lambo. It's the closest thing. We've got to a new Deutz. We've got a Deutz, so I guess that's maybe closest to a new Deutz. It's an actual Deutz, but... Lambo. I thought it would fit, and uh, yeah, it was, it was cheap. Cheap as chips. Lovely little cruise through. This is us. No need for a skip. I'll even keep in the bit where I smacked into the bush. Because I was focused on the debris crusher. Right. But anyone who missed it, this is our brewery. You made this. You can see. You do a little bit more landscaping to tidy it up. But hopefully. Come out of cab. Sorry, I didn't mean to be in cab the whole time. So they've gone in. And if I go... I believe it's here. Here? Somewhere will be... Ah, the business trigger is there. Right. Honey. We are making honey beer. Storing. Oh no, we need to add water. All oh, right, okay. That's not really an issue. What we can do is get our strawberries in, then uh, come back, we'll get the water, fill up the water for everything. Just remember, we've been playing on FS17 with a mod that I can uh, open the gates from within. Um, I've not got that. Nearly drove into my gate. Right. Now I think we activate pallet spawning around the back. At the front here is the light. Yeah. So I think round the back. This. Do that. Hopefully. Pallets will spawn. Oh yes, there they be. Very nice. Right. I'm going to load this up again by hand because it was just such a nightmare. I need to get enough money together so that we can get two um, pallet trucks, two uh, forklifts. One to keep here and one to keep at the brewery. That's what I need. Now I think the brewery has um, 40,000 litre capacity. I'm losing my voice again. 40,000 litre capacity. I think we'll uh, be fine. We can even, you know, store some of these in the storage down there. We have too many and it won't accept them all when we get there. Nicely done. Uh, put a strap on. Right, I'll get myself a full trailer. We'll head back. So last pallet going on at the back. I'm only going to do one layer. In no rush to uh, crazy amounts down there. I mean, eventually we should be able to uh, come here and 
I was to do this and then we could set that to distribution that should then ship them off um, to our production point anyway so you never know I might come and do this regularly or I might do some of it in the background now can we attach Could. I think we can. I have to do it the other way around though. I can attach on the back of this. Oh, let's get around it. Again, I think I can. Right. I'll be able to do this in one hit. Let's have a little fiddle about with these uh, tractors and trailers. So if I attach. How much time this will save. I mean, if, if it doesn't work at all, we've not saved time. We've wasted time, but we'll know. If I can fill this up and then connect the uh, Ponce trailer, it's called a Ponce, um, behind it, then uh, that might be a good thing. Yeah, it might not be how it's pronounced, but I'm sure it's Ponce. Pounce, poops. Open up. We need to smack into it, just need to open it up. This is going to take a while. While we wait for our tank to fill up, I thought I'd quickly uh, hop back and set our worker up to slurry the sheep's pasture. So uh, let's get back, and our tank should be done. Not quite, but we're nearly there. 90%. <laughs> uh, takes forever. Come on. 95. Here we go. Max. 99%. In that case, we might, might struggle to pull all this at any sort of pace. I have looked and the greenhouses aren't wire and water, they seem to last for a long time on the water that they have. Oh, I'm some way off. Now, I'm not sure if that's because it won't connect or just because I was off, so we will go again. the other way this time. I thought with all the truck reversing and stuff I'd be a little bit better at this. Oh it does. What's it called? Agaus. Oh, it's got nothing to do with Ponce at all. I thought that was Ponce. It may be. It may be the brand and then that's just called Nagus. Alright. We have stacks and stacks. Let's get this down. Oh, need to uh, check the trailer. One, so much attached. There we go. Lovely. Now, I think I'm going to have to give myself a bit of a wide berth when uh, negotiating some of these corners because if those crates snag on a bush, they're going to cause us issues. Uh, because bales and crates, if you play this map, you know, bales, crates, and stuff like that don't pass through bushes, as they shouldn't. <laughs> Tractors and trailers do, though. So, uh, you have to be mindful. I'll tell you what, what I do like about this tractor is that the mirrors are pretty much right. Perfect, but I can see my trailers out of them. I can see that hugging the, the bush there. There's another pro for it. The, uh, the textures inside on some of the uh, dash equipment and stuff like that. Not high res, but that's not a problem. It doesn't work anyway, it's not real. One day. Well, that one works nicely. I think that's, that's got to be the next step, I think, for farm sim. To be a little bit like train sim in that way. The, act, the actual buttons in the, da um, in the 
tractors actually work and do things and control things. Screens that, you know, partially work would be nice. If everything that shows up in the uh, window, in your window and your map, if you could get that so that was on a screen inside the tractor, that would be better. It would help for the realism as well, the immersion and stuff like that. not us. I always slow down for that one. I guess it's not a bad thing, is it? I'm slowing down. No doubt I was going too quick. Can do nearly 40. As I've established, we don't need to do nearly 40 just because we can. This is the bit where I need to give it a wide berth. Tree. So what I might do is attach trailer back the water in see how that empties open up to make sure I can find the trigger hopefully it's just in that same box but if not we'll back it up to uh, a water bottle or something like that just in there. Beautiful thing. Yeah. Stiff button. This is going to take a while. A whale? It's going to take a while. <laughs> okay, almost done. Done. Where best to stick this? Um, thinking. Now I'll just stick it over here. Back into that spot. Take out a parking space, but that's okay. No one's here using it. Right. Back up onto the trailer and we'll pull that through. Sorry about all the in cab, it's just easier than trying to avoid the tree canopy whilst doing this sort of stuff. Not everyone likes it. But it's just it's just easier. It's more comfortable for me this way. Right now. They start unloading. Marvellous. I think that's it. I think the bloody thing's full. It can't be, can it? It is twenty thousand. It only holds twenty thousand. Oh, wow. Okay, well, I'll put them in storage. But well, we had 45,000 litres on the back of the trailer on the way up here. 45, oh, yeah, 45,000 litres. Um, so we took 20, so we've got 25,000 litres in storage. So even when it's finished cycling through all those, we can do that again and then some before we even need to bring another delivery up. And we've got over 200,000 litres in storage so maybe I need to go and sell some as well because we're just going to be producing crazy amounts um, I don't know, perhaps we'll set some of the uh, the others to produce something different it's always an option um, right I need to get this set up so I can get out and shut the door hoping that the uh, spawning might have started. It would have been nice to have uh, seen something happen. Has, has it started? Do I need to... Uh, oh, I need to turn it on, don't I? Activate. Strawberry beer. Honey beer. Activate. Oh, I need to have barley in there for the honey beer. Oh, no, I've got none of that. Damn it. Okay. I need to have the barley in there for that as well. Oh, no. Okay. That's a thing. It takes 10,000 litres of honey as well. Right. 
I guess with this <laughs> newfound knowledge, that means we are definitely planting barley. Um, once we've got our canola in. Um, oh, we've got people bidding on land. Oh. What bit of land people are bidding on? We've got auctions on our on our lands. Let's uh, pull over and take a look. This could be something that we could get involved in. Pop the hazards on. Hey, okay. right. Should the bit of land is for auction? Ah, there it is. It's here. Now its actual worth is. 13 grand. I forget the land is really cheap around here. It's 13,000. Now, when we get down there, because we're heading that way anyway, we'll uh, take a little detour. We'll pop to that bit of property and we'll see what the uh, the bid was at. I'm sure you guys can uh, pause, rewind, and uh, see what the bid was. But we can uh, go over and have a look because I didn't catch how much it was. Didn't even say the, the, the land number. Normally it will tell you which, uh, which bit of land it was. See, so yeah, we have land auctions. Uh, they, they last for days. Days and days. But hopefully uh, we can pick up something cheap that way. I think it's part of this farm, but it's not actually here. I think it was lower than this, wasn't it? Yeah, further down. Opposite the... Uh, the restaurant and our greenhouses. I'll just uh, park these up on site and uh, just run over and have a little look. I think it was uh, potatoes or a bit of sorghum in there. It was something brown anyway. But whatever it is, it is ready to harvest. Soybeans. Now if I set up, there's 14,000 is the plot of land worth 13 grand? It's not worth bidding on. Although that's 13,000 at 62% cheaper. It's 11 grand per acre. Okay. It's a shame because in... They withered. They've withered. <laughs> yeah. That's why it was brown. <laughs> I thought that was a crop to get. I thought it was potatoes or sorghum. So I would like more fields. Put a bid in. We'll see. Right. Bid. 48 hours, we we'll just have to see how that goes, it's quite a while. So I think what I'm going to do is double stack this with strawberries, that'll be nearly 100,000 litres, and it's like 90,000 litres, and uh, we'll sell that to the highest price. So we'll uh, turn the spawner back on. I turned it off, obviously, because I didn't want loads to keep coming out. There they come. Right, so... Shell. Do this again. And uh, I'll do it off screen to avoid the <laughs> displeasing eyes. People, not everyone likes it, but you know what? It's, it's just not working with the uh, the Massey at the minute. Once we get ourselves a forklift, we'll do a little bit more realistically. See you in a bit. Well, I'm not sure exactly how many crates I've got on here for the literage, because I've had to turn two of them round. But it's getting choppy, to say the least, visually. Look at that. Oh, painful. Right. Let's just jump in and we can see we've got... Oh, we have got... Oh. <laughs> 102,500 litres. Right. Let's go and see where we can sell this. Well. Maypole Exports is clearly the best. But I want to show you that we've got a, a secondary sell point now put in behind the supermarket. Uh, so we're going to go there and uh, drop it off. We'll take a hit just to do a showcase. Let's see how this looks to pull away. It's not, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. As long as I don't move the camera, it's not too bad. I know I've pulled a trailer like this on uh, on Xbox, and uh, I thought I was going to have a stroke. Oh, there, it's there now. Right. I'm obviously not going to make you guys watch me uh, pull this stuttering around, so uh, 
I'll see you at the supermarket. Doing the journey in cab was a little bit better than doing it out of cab, but it's still jittery as hell. I think we're probably down to about 15 FPS. Joe, I can uh, bring it up 16. Look at that. That is awful. Oh dear. I know there's a lot of objects, but this is <laughs> such poor optimization. When you know your game is all about. Well, it's about farming, but it's now about productions and pallets and stuff like this. Should be a way to optimize that better. Where is the supermarket? I felt sure it was down here somewhere. Maybe a little bit further. That's the supermarket there. Yes. We need to uh, trim some trees back to uh, show their sign. Perhaps we can get a little job doing that for them. Slow down. Ooh. Ooh. That is bad. Bad. <laughs> They're coming. So it's 700, was it 716 per thousand? Now I've got to be careful, I don't want to drive over, because that's where you deliver to the store. Careful not to do that, because I'll try and get to it now, because I've parked it to reverse into. Obviously, I, me being me, I can't reverse this into here. So, which I'll do my best. I have to replace it, move it back a bit. But we'll get what we can in there. Slowly sell. Perhaps I'll uh, pick the ones up off the back and uh, put them in myself just to uh, speed it along a bit. I'm sure they'll uh, sell just fine if I do that. Oh, it's more than half. I ain't going to do that at all. not like um, in 19 where you could just grab the trailer and uh, sell. Right, I'll have to see if I can uh, turn around. So it's 34 grand. So 34, 35, about 36,000. And another 25, 26, so it's sort of 50, 62 grand so far. See if I can just force it on. And uh, I will, I'll just have to uh, change his placement a little bit for future. Move him over. Over there. <laughs> You're going in, that's alright. Uh, so 60, 70, means about 74,000, we're up to 241 again, which is really comfortable. Really comfortable. But yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna move that back a little bit just to make sure that we can actually uh, get in there properly with our trailer. Once we've got a truck or something that I can reverse on better, wouldn't be such an issue. Well, I was having a little look to see if there was anyone else growing any barley. But it's just me. All oh, that had barley. Mine's gone. So everyone else has harvested theirs as well, which isn't a surprise because today is the last day to get the harvest in. It's a shame. But what I'll do is I'll get this back to the farm. We've still got a bit of time. And the water at the brewery is only a third full. So I think I'll spend my evening filling that up, make sure that that's ready. It's going to take a while to uh, constantly fill that. And we could also check on the worker. I mean, I'm, I'm sure the notification came up to tell me that they'd finished. I was so busy shuffling pallets about, I probably didn't see it. But they uh, they should be done and we'll be able to sort them out. And uh, without the pallets, we're at like 49 or 59, 60 FPS, no problems. That's running it on 4K, all the settings on Ultra and those that can be increased are increased. 
it's um, it's not too bad. It's a shame we have to lock it at 60 though, if not that would run higher at times, which would be nice. Really want somewhere better to keep this trailer. Just haven't got nowhere better yet. And our worker left the uh, the job there in the slurry tanker in the middle of the field. I got off home as they uh, as they often do when they finish work. So uh, I'll put this away. Tuck it back up round. Uh, we'll have plenty of slurry left over to do the. Uh, to do the fields next time around. I was in there, I swear I had such a poor memory. I can't remember if we slurried the uh, arable field that's harvested or not. That may be a job, if we haven't, that'll be a job for the, the worker to do uh, while we do our harvest because we're going to focus on that next time out. Hopefully it's ready next time if we have to wait another month. We may have to just have a quiet month of rest because there's not a lot else for us to do. Today was sort of filling to get through this month and I was hoping to uh, be producing some of our strawberry and honey ale. Didn't even think about they might also need the barley. I thought the barley was just for barley ale. I've also got a second brewery mod that I've come across. Works a little bit different and it's a lot bigger. Uh, requires a big flat bit of land, so I don't, know, I don't know if I'll incorporate it here or whether that might turn up in a different let's play at another point. But I, I like the idea of uh, making beer in farm sim. There we go. Right, let's park this up, jump back in the uh, Lambo, and uh, do the water run. That's another tanker full, so uh, we'll run this down to the brewery, pop that up. Now, I don't know if you got one of those uh, like automatic tower bucket things, if that would feed, feed it into a uh, produce production site, like a factory, like they do for the greenhouses. Not sure whether to get them as well for the greenhouses like I've done on Oot Baylor Ron. I think we'd need a lot because they are high capacity um, greenhouses. I'm not sure if that'd be a good idea. They're off just coming up with a big trailer and filling them up. Uh, probably about once every six months by the looks of it. So yeah, I want to run this. I'll probably have to do one and a half, maybe two runs, I think, to fill it. Uh, so this will be the end of today's episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. It's been a bit different. It's been a lot of loading, um, moving around, not a great deal of farming necessarily because we had our worker doing the slurry but we did slurry last time out I don't want to keep repeating on myself so we've done something a bit different and we found out a little bit more about our brewery and how it works so uh, yeah if you've enjoyed it give a big crap thumbs up down below if you're new, new to the channel the subscribe button turn your bell notification on find out when new videos going live as always comments and feedback down there you guys have yourselves a wonderful day hopefully see you in the next one bye bye